Well, you come out here and you tell me my capacitor's bad. And what happens then? What should a good tech do at that point? If your capacitor's weak, I'm gonna show you on my meter what the reading is compared to what the numbers say on, on the capacitor, what it should be reading. Okay. Um, and then I'm gonna let you know that that capacitor is weak, it's below tolerance, and needs to be replaced. How many times have you ever been to one that the capacitor was bad and swollen up? A lot. <laughs> a lot. The capacitor still could run, right? It, it still could run. And how long could it run for? The, that's that's a question. You never know when it's going to go. This is where it comes in to, to get knowledgeable. So if if our service tech or your service tech, whoever, you may live in Chicago for all we know, but this is how you check. You check and they'll go, what's the tolerance? When you start asking these questions to the tech, then they know that you know what you're talking about. So if it's weak, our recommendation is to change it out because why? On the hotter days, it, it, it takes more to start the compressors or the fans. They're under a heavier load. And if this capacitor is weak, then the chances are that's when it's gonna go completely. If the technician says that, that the capacitor is low tolerance, and needs to be replaced, uh, by all means, go ahead and replace these capacitors. Now, have them show you the numbers to verify that this capacitor is weak. Now, let's go over something real quick. Uh, let's say that this capacitor is weak. What kind of damage could it possibly do to this heat and air unit? If this capacitor is weak, so you can damage the windings in the compressor, which can lead to failure or overheating of the compressor. Right. And same thing with the condenser fan motor. It can do the same thing, you know, cause it to overheat. So you're doing more damage to the compressor and the fan motor by not changing it if it is below tolerance. 